Hi, I'm Kevin Bonner, Chief Technology Officer for General Dynamics Land Systems Global Operations. And I'd like to talk to you today about our ongoing efforts to increase combat vehicle effectiveness through the use of robotics, crew automation, and advanced manned unmanned teaming. GDLS has played a significant role in the design and development of unmanned systems for over 20 years in support of applications in the ground, air, and naval surface vehicle domains. Our work in sensor development, sensor processing, path planning, and human machine interfaces has enabled us to control heterogeneous groups of unmanned systems in off-road and military relevant environments. We've recently redoubled our efforts in key areas, utilizing our domain expertise and the latest algorithmic approaches from the commercial sector to ensure that robotics and automated systems remain a focus of our business moving forward. Much of our work began in the 1990s when I was fortunate enough to be a founding member of a startup that would later become General Dynamics Robotic Systems. We started with simple teleoperated vehicles using stereoscopic vision and binaural audio feedback. But we quickly advanced into more automated path following using obstacle avoidance for off-road operation and perimeter security. Later, we moved toward more tactical operations, including route clearance, leader follower, and long range reconnaissance. Throughout this period, GDOS continued its thought leadership as a prime contractor for both the US Army's Future Combat Systems Autonomous Navigation System, as well as the Robotics Collaborative Technology Alliance. Intuitive and effective man-machine interfaces were always a focus of our research as we sought to reduce the cognitive burden of both crew members and the remote operator. Today, we are furthering these concepts and architectures to support ever-increasing mission complexity with fewer operator interactions. In the commercial self-driving car industry, we frequently talk about levels of autonomy, which represent how well the mobility of the vehicle can perform while driving on improved road networks. Our collective environment, however, is much more nuanced. We need to think not only about mobility in structured environments, but coordinated mobility, reconnaissance, and lethality performed in conjunction with teammates and in a non-permissive or more likely adversarial environment. For this reason, we consider the competency of any automated task to be determined by the task definition itself in conjunction with both the actions and interactions of cohabitants and the environment. In essence, you need to know not only what mission you want to fulfill, but how to coordinate with teammates, react to neutral or hostile actors, and operate in an environment that can consist of unfamiliar terrain or less than perfect weather conditions. So it's one thing to say that you can move from point A to point B, yet quite another to say that you can move from A to B both safely and securely while performing reconnaissance in a collaborative environment and contested terrain. The various combinations of all these conditions make some tasks easier and some much more difficult. And in many cases, the level of competency of the automation is not yet mature enough to provide operational utility. In these cases, the operator is unable to trust the outcome of the automation, which becomes even less effective than more manual control or even completely manned operation. To counter these cases and provide working solutions before certain approaches are reliable, our architectures implement the ability to dial back the level of automation, allowing the operator to do what a human does best and the automation to do what the machine does best. This sliding scale of automation enables us to implement the functions of a virtual driver, virtual scout, and virtual gunner, which represent the traditional move, look, and shoot skills on any vehicle, whether it has a crew member or whether it's completely unmanned. The individual skills are coordinated by a virtual commander and can be traded between crew members, partially automated, or even given completely over to virtual function, depending on the level of trust and competency under current conditions. Our approach also enables the same software to be tailored to the physical attributes of different platforms. Small air vehicles, for example, might be very competent in automated mobility and reconnaissance, but have little or no lethality. Conversely, unmanned ground vehicles might have limited mobility in complicated terrains, but a full complement of both direct and indirect weapon systems. General Dynamics is using these methods to develop the next generation of automated systems. Our multi-utility tactical transport, or MUT platform, has already gained wide acceptance and been integrated with mission equipment payloads, including remote weapon stations, smoke generation systems, tethered UAVs, and loitering munitions. Our TRX, or 10-ton track robotic vehicle, utilizes a hybrid electric propulsion system and supports logistic resupply, medical evacuation, mobility counter-mobility operations, reconnaissance, 
and direct and indirect fires. We also continue to develop advanced manned prototype platforms, both tracked and wheeled, that incorporate safety critical and cyber secure digital backbones, provide automation to enable reduced manning, incorporate advanced 360 degree situational awareness and reconnaissance systems, and enable new capabilities to be added as software applications, allow quick upgrades and reduce life cycle costs. In addition to their traditional roles, these manned platforms are increasingly being considered as C4 ISR quarterbacks to coordinate the activities of multiple assets on the battlefield. In the future, all of these platforms will operate seamlessly together, communicating peer-to-peer -peer as a connected node of heterogeneous assets to collect, fuse, organize, disseminate, and act on information at the tactical edge. General Dynamics and its partners are already bringing this vision closer to reality. Using our manned platforms as C4ISR nodes, integrated with a family of unmanned best-in-breed organic and persistent unmanned air vehicles, loitering munitions, and a wide variety of payloads, we're experimenting with advanced operational scenarios, including automated target acquisition and handoff, coordinated unmanned systems command and control, and indirect target engagement. In summary, General Dynamics continues to develop advanced automated features for both manned and unmanned systems. Our unique approach allows seamless task trading to reduce operator cognitive burden and provides a sliding scale of autonomy to maximize combined manned machine performance. Lastly, integrating a heterogeneous set of manned and unmanned systems and experimenting in relevant terrain and operational conditions allows us to close the gap between research and working prototypes. Thank you for joining me today and I'll stand by for any questions.